Sometimes I get a request through the way that people hear from the Lord. And the request is, would you please record on holiness? So I'm going to try. I am a sinner like any other person in the world. But then I met a woman who totally rocked my world and changed my life. It wasn't that I didn't have a good family upbringing that talked about Methodism and other types of religions. And it wasn't that I didn't have okay siblings who understood God at the time. But today, none of them are in God's yeah. house. And that's been pretty hard because they can turn any person of the world into a Satan-loving blob. But that's sort of a ridiculous statement because Satan is a force. Satan is, a, is the lowest level of spirit world that impacts human beings. The purpose of Satan, real quick, is to challenge us to move ourselves back to the loving principles of the Lord Jesus or Odin or whoever you believe in. I tend to go to the Christian dumb first because allegedly a lot of people who are doing these things profess to be Christians or profess to be into spirituality and not religion. Fine. Our man's terminology doesn't matter to God because with every century comes out new words, new things that we have to learn about. We are heading into a time of space age races. And what we also know is that there might be some alien faces that we could face. But the truth is, when we're talking about holiness, we have to look to the holy people of the world. Holy people of the world start in early childhood to learn about what is holy. My favorite book from childhood isn't Beastly Boys and Ghastly Girls, although it's a great poetic device. My favorite book is actually one my sister took from me called Warm Fuzzies. Unfortunately, as I've hunted for it, it doesn't exist anymore. I kind of think I might have found the author just based on the artistic renderings of the cover and the inside, but it's not the same. And I really miss that book because what that book explains is that when we do something well, when we feel something that's swell, we get this tingling all over our body or just a touch from the Lord's angels that is a warm touch that gives us that tingly feeling. What we know about God is that God is a planner. God is a dutiful father. God is a marvelous mother. And God is over all the heavens and the earth. So to be holy, we have to be willing to read. And as we grow and as we age, we have to be able to keep getting ourselves in the word of the Lord. Now the words of, of the Lord come from many different places. The words of the Lord come from many holy spaces. And the words of holiness are those of love, peace, honor, and regard. It's pretty much that simple. If you want to be a holy person, you have to be willing to put yourself in a word of the Lord every day, as best you can. Take 20 minutes after you get up and have your marvelous feast. He's and I hate to be bold, but I'm trying to make it easy for you. Time management isn't that hard. But in life, we have to know, how do I be? How do I become all of me? How do I keep evolving? How do I keep changing? How do I keep doing things for me that don't hurt other people? You see, the minute that we take an action to hurt other people, we've stepped into the forces of Satan. We've chosen to ruin our life. <clears throat> so in order to be holy, yes, we can read from the Holy Dhamma or the, and uh, the Dalai Lama, sorry, and we can read from other marvelous people. But the truth is that the people of the world inherited God. And the Tower of Babel that is clearly discussed around the world is what divided the races and the nations. But at this particular time, God is cleaning house. And we know from historic works of God that every millennium, every ever of their century, and I'm not good in terms of noting history and the mathematical differences of when that last plague occurred, but every community around the world is being impacted by this plague, this pandemic, this epidemic. And let me tell you, it did come from the Lord. It came from the Lord because people stopped believing in God. They stopped listening to the Holy Ghost. They stopped hearing what to say and what not to say in the world. They stopped hearing what to do and what not to do in the world. And people who participate with Satan are the most arrogant bastards of our nation. And it's a sad. They mouth off, they sputter off, they insult people like me. But the difference is, I'm insulting people to try to get them to get closer to God. To be holy, we have to be willing to push people in a way that helps them raise themselves up every single day.
you can start the day negative you can start the day depressed but it's easy to change that you put on some beautiful music like some hot girls I just listened to or you put on some incredible ideology of some philosopher that you like to hear but the best thing you can do is to find yourself a religious work that's the best for you that speaks to your soul and you read it but if you're reading in Wiccan where that's not a bad thing we have marvelous tree-hugging Wiccans who pray for our land so whatever it floats your boat and doesn't sink your ship is almost okay with God because he made every person and none of us are odd every human being has the possibility of being holy but when we decide that we're not holy anymore is when we make the mistakes of our lives those are called life lessons but if we don't learn from those mistakes if we keep marrying jerks if we keep interfering with God's plans for our life if we keep interfering with God's designs for other people's lives and their ability to rise in the land and in the nation then we literally have aligned ourselves with Satan so we've lost our holiness and we'll be literally facing Lord Jesus, we'll be facing Lord Odin, we'll be facing Mother and Father God, we'll be facing the goddesses of the world, and we'll be facing them in the afterlife, and they'll be looking at us going, kind of like that one scene in Harry Hamblin's film of Old Clash of Titans, they'll be basically chatting going, I don't know about this. I don't know about how we handle this. What do we do with them? Because we didn't do anything right. We failed ourselves in the opportunity to remain holy. People become unholy by what they watch, what they hear, what they see. And if you're not involved with holy people, then it's time to clean house, just like God is doing, cleaning his holy tree.